here I want to welcome everybody to my channel I really want to thank every each and one of you for all your love and support and if you're new to my channel please do not forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up also do not forget to turn on your little bell so that way you guys can know when I'm gonna be posting video which I usually will be posting Mondays Wednesdays and Friday I hope you guys enjoy this video and without further ado welcome and guys here is Lexi um Lexi is my two-year-old Yorkie um I will be telling you guys a little bit more about her throughout this video I'm gonna tell you how I got her the reason why I got her what she likes to eat what doesn't she like you know wh what kind of dog basically she is at home um well I will begin by Lexi is two years old she's very camera shy Lexi as you could see very very camera shy I just realizing she's not into cameras although she likes pictures though I must admit I'm gonna be posting some here um, I got her when she was only two months old she was a really tiny little puppy uh, she's tiny still she's about five pounds right now and she is fully grown she would not get any bigger than this um, she's very spoiled or how we called it malcriada which means she likes her way and she knows what she wants she's very demanding of attention and love but overall she's a really good puppy um, one of the things that Lexi likes is she loves to cuddle uh, she loves to play around um, I'm still trying to teach her though how to kind of calm and you know be calm with her uh, temper because she's kind of crazy and not going when you let her loose she'll literally go just go anywhere um, around the house but I'm trying to work with her with that and now that I got her a partner um, probably she'll get more calm I'm kind of getting her ready to be a mommy now at this stage before I um, neutered her so I think it's you know we're gonna see how it's gonna go and hopefully I'm gonna be able to show you guys you know the process and the baby and the birth and all that information I'm gonna be posting eventually with you guys so yeah this is her say hi Lexi she is so shy wow who would have thought she was such a shy dog so stay tuned and I'm gonna be showing you guys my other son. and guys here I have my other baby I present you guys Ryan yes Ryan is a one-year-old Mel Yorkie Terrier as well he is the sweetest thing ever let me tell you literally this dog is just a lovable I'm not even kidding or exaggerating he's just too much he's so funny he's so clumsy and he's so clever sometimes yeah he is he's a really smart dog um I'm gonna tell you guys the story of how we got Ryan to our family he has you know he hasn't been with us for too long um we got him because there was a family that was unable to take care of him so therefore they decided to give it to us knowing that we would give him a lot of love and cuddles and hugs and kisses look at him he's about to fall asleep i'm not kidding this dog you guys it's really something else i'm gonna be doing some q a questions about them what they like so far since we had um ryan in our family i can tell you that like i said he's just a handful of love he is the sweetest dog ever like he wouldn't bark for anything so basically we're keeping him because yeah he will be um Lexi's formal is um husband or boyfriend dog and yeah we're looking forward very excited to you know them how do they're gonna be having puppies and seeing all of that I'm um, like I said I'm gonna be transmitting all that with you guys here so stay tuned and yeah we'll be answering you guys questions and things you guys want to know about them right Ryan Ryan you are so cute puppy you are you're so handsome yeah, and he loves to, like, when I tell him things, that like when I coddled with him, you see, he stays still. He's just a lovable. Right, right? Right, right, right? Yeah, he's so cute. Hey, guys, and now that you have seen them, I'm going to be talking to you a little more about it and answering some questions that you guys have asked. The first question they asked me was how old are they again Lexi is two years old Ryan is a year and a half old so yeah he's a male she's a female um, basically I hope that eventually they would fall in love and we could get some good cute puppies out of that um, the second questions I'm gonna be answering is what are their personalities alike 
Well, they're very not alike. They're actually very opposite. They're very different because, you know, Ryan is very lovable, calm, and very sweet. Now, Lexi is very sweet, but then at the same time, she's a handful. Like, I am not even kidding. She's the type of dog that she'll get to your house and you'll realize there's a dog in the house. But at the same time, she's very sweet, not very calm at all. But again, that kind of goes with her personality. I don't know if it's because it's a woman thing. We women are kind of like that. So she's very active dog. Now the third question is, uh, would you neuter them after? Yes. Um, eventually, after they have their first, um, you know, set of puppies, I will be neutering them because I don't want to put her through all that stress. Is it really stressful enough to have her to put her to a first, you know, um, for a first time for her to have puppies? But then at the same time, I feel that you know, recommended by doctors and a lot of people have told me also that it's very important for her to actually have at least one litter. So I will follow that, and then after that, yes, they will both get neutered. Um, the other question that they asked me is, are you planning to sell the puppies or not? And no, I am not. I am not going to sell the puppies. I think that I have a lot of compromises of friends of mine that want one. Um, I believe that she will not have as many puppies. Um, I believe that she'll probably have between two to three. I am not quite sure about that. But if she has two, I mean, they're basically there's two people that I have to give them to. I give them my word. And if she has more than two, then I will probably, I have to consider this, but I think I may keep it since it's going to be her only one litter. So that's a consideration. Another question you guys ask me a lot is, um, how much would you sell the puppies? Again, I would not sell the puppies at all. They're not for sale. I would just keep them or give them away to friends of mine. Um, I'm not a big person of selling dogs. I mean, I think it's, you know, it's, it's an animal that you have to give love and care and appreciate. It's not like an object you just go and sell and buy and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Another question I get asked is, have they done any mistakes? Do they do any potty, um, mistakes and whatnot and yes like all puppies and dogs do i mean they all make mistakes we human make mistakes so dogs do make mistakes as well i mean personally she is the one that you know kind of used to tear up my sandals if i put them in the wrong place or you know if i would leave a rug out she'll go and do her potty there instead of the little wee wee pad i had for her but i mean it's kind of normal i'm still on the stage after two years old believe it or not sometimes she makes that mistake still and i try to kind of correct her and say you know what no bad girl and redirect her to the wee wee pad where she has to go so i'm still in the process of that now when it comes to ryan since he's new to our family i'm kind of learning about him a little bit more as each day goes by now i can tell you for sure that you know he is a male dog and male dogs they tend to be very like territorial i will call it um he just you know he's in the time that he pees like all over the places I am not even kidding you guys it is horrible um, what I did to kind of you know use some precaution on that because I don't want pee all over my house like furniture or my kids room um, I kind of use this pad that they sell at pet land or pet supermarket or any pet store you guys may find out where you tied it around his belly it does not harm him at all it's actually pretty comfortable and then you just put like a little diaper inside and that way whenever you know he needs to go he'll go in there for those times that you have him loose around the house and you know he wants to lift up his leg to kind of mark his territory then you tell him no no that's not good bad dog and then he'll put his feet down and then you know i'm sorry his paw down and then eventually he'll pick up after a while and then you know you take off the the diaper as you see he has progressed on that and you know that way he'll get the point that you know what there's no lifting paws we don't pee everywhere it's only in certain areas and my last question is what do you do when you travel what do you do with have two dogs now that you have two dogs it's harder because obviously you know with one dog a lot of family members can take care of them um two dogs it's kind of difficult from time to time and i do like to take vacation whenever it's possible or i'm always on the run or doing stuff so it is kind of harder now that i have two dogs to take care of but i mean if you're willing to commit to use some time to give some love and obviously have some support from your family member that makes it all easier um for example now that i have them too usually when i had lexi only i would give her to like my mother-in-law or my mother would take care of her or even at times i will leave her at home and then i would just give them the key and they will come and like feed them and you know do all the cleaning the diaper and all that for them but now that i have both of them definitely they have to stay in my house whenever i travel 
um that way it's easier for them not to leave their area of comfort so they will feel a lot you know more comfortable when they're here and you know that way i don't have to bother my family members too taking care of two dogs it's kind of a hassle especially if you don't have the space it could be kind of an inconvenient and you know they have here their house their food their bed so they're very used to their territory guys and another thing is once you're adding another dog into the family it is very challenging for your already owned previous dog because you know they get to be a little bit jealous for me my experience Lexi is really really jealous with Ryan like she just wants to be on top of him she wants me to cut her more like if I'm gonna feed her I have to make sure I feed both of them at the same time or like if I feed him because randomly I just didn't do it on purpose she gets really upset and she starts barking at me and she just gives me like this little bad face attitude um you know like what did you do that why it's not me first i would see it first and she has that kind of little personality as well like if i'm sitting in the couch perhaps and i'm just cuddling him you know or having like one-on-one -on -one alone time with him she'll come by and she'll just like push my hand and try to me to pet her and not pet him and then he does the same thing as well so it's kind of a battling that we're trying to battle right now and try to accommodate both of them together because you know love are part of our family and they are like our family so we don't want them to feel left out or feel left loved so that's another tip that i will give you guys if you have another dog and planning to bring another dog in the house please make sure you guys are aware of these little tricks and ticks because honestly it will get to you guys and guys this concludes my video say bye i really appreciate all of you guys for coming in tuning in you see lexi's very camera shy lexi say bye um i appreciate you guys for tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed this video find some good tips out of it and i hope you guys first and foremost love your pets take well care of them and until next time